spice math. That's right. We add it up, multiply it, man. Spice math. Okay. A couple things we're gonna learn today. Spice math. All right. Take some time, educate yourself. Spice math. That's right. You won't believe it's just math. Come on. Hi, I'm Ruth Dutton. Hi, I'm Aaron Williams. Hi, I'm Brandon Alexander. Hi, I'm Kelvin Dutton. Hello, I'm Lyndon Sincere. We are your Spice Math Tutors. You won't believe it's just math, just math. Hi, my fellow mathematicians. And welcome to another episode of Spice Math. In today's episode, we'll be learning to divide using Touch Math. At the end of today's lesson, you should be able to divide a larger number by a smaller number, a single digit number, using Touch Math. Let's get into today's lesson. First example, we are going to divide 8 which is our dividend, by 2, which we call our divisor. So I'm going to put a little box up here, and that box really is for a tally. So as I go through this example, we are going to go through the steps. So the first step is that we are going to skip count as I said, skip counting in math is very important. By the divisor until we get to the dividend. In this case, we don't have any remainder. But if there's a remainder, usually you would skip count as close to the divisor as possible, but not passing the divisor. So now we're going to count two. And every time I count, I'm going to put a tally mark. Four. 6, 8. So we got into 8. And now I'm going to count the tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I would put 4 here. So 4 is my answer. And 4 is what we call the quotient. You're correct. So now we can see 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And that's it for our first example. So let's do another example. For our second example, we are going to divide 18 by 6. So again, let's get to the vocabulary of division. 18 is my dividend. 6 is my divisor. And now we're looking for the quotient. In this case, 6, we are going to count by 6, skip count by 6, which is our divisor. And we're going to say 6, put one mark here, 12, another mark, 18, another mark. So let's count our tally points, 1, 2, 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. We're going to do one more example, and I want you to help me this time. And this time I'm counting in. You help me? 5. Yes, you got it. Because 5 is my divisor. 45 is the dividend. So I'm counting in fives. You're correct. So we're going to start five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and now I'm going to cross. That's twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. That's correct. Now, I'm going to count the tally again. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 45 divided by 5 is 9. So this is our third example. Now, if you want to prepare yourself for long division, what we're now going to say is 5 multiplied by 9 is 45. Because we, again, we can skip count and get 5. And then we can now subtract. 5 subtract 5 is 0. 4 subtract 4 is 0. Now I'm going to give you one example. Well, another one. This time you do it on your own. So for this one, you are now dividing 49 by 7. So I'm going to give you a minute or two to complete this. How was that? I'm sure you got it. So now we have 49 as our dividend, 7 is our divisor, and we're going to now skip count in 7s. I hope you remember how to skip count in 7s, unless you want to give it a try. So we're going 7, 14, 21, 28, 28 and 7 is 35, 42, 49. So let's count our tally now. 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember when you cross, that's 5. So 5, 6, 7. So basically what we're saying is 7 times 7 is 49. 49 divided by 7 is 7. So now, again preparing you for long division, I can put my 49 here. 9 subtract 9 is 0. 4 subtract 4 is 0. Now there's a practice exercise on your screen. I would like you to attempt those.
Here are your answers. How did you do? I'm sure you did well. Thank you for joining us once again for this episode of Spice Math. See you again and keep practicing your math.